Hey everyone, this is Aura Matrix. Welcoming you back to episode 48 of Legends of Party Time. If you understand any of that, or, well, I'm sure you could understand it, but if you were not creeped up by my voice, I congratulate you. Because that was a very strange voice coming. I hope I said the right episode. I believe it's episode 48 right now. Jeez, almost half of a hundred. Man. This will probably actually get. I think this will get my video, like my total video count on YouTube up to 50 when I upload this one, but whatever. It's a pretty nice milestone. It's not as nice a milestone as getting 20 subscribers for the first time, which I ha which I wanted to get by the end of June. I could, I still could get it if I get a subscriber onslaught of six. Yes, an onslaught for me would be six subscribers in one day, definitely. Anyways, now we can head. Oh, did we have to go? No, we did not have to backtrack for that key. Oh my god. Watch the chairs in my- Yes, it's the basically the same as the other room that looked like this. There are monsters that will come after you. And they'll kill you. They seriously will. Actually, no, they'll just teleport you back to the start of the dungeon. Oh, green bubbles. How Now, how nice. I don't know what they were thinking putting those there. Oh, maybe I did have to back- I guess I did have to backtrack before coming here because I needed some keys. Oh, well. Anyways, you can see that there's an eye switch there, but it's encased in ice. What the hell? I can't hit that. Well, you can either use Din's fire, like you can go under on that platform under it and use Din's fire, or you can fire an arrow right through this flame. And you don't have to be too accurate, really. Like, I was pretty accurate there, but you don't have to be nearly that accurate. You kind of just have to hit the ice from behind that torch. Anyways, this is not the right place. Where am I? Where's the door? And don't fall in there. D Link, don't fall in there. I said don't fall in there. I don't even know what the hell that stuff is. That looks like nasty heart juice or something. I don't know. We're not going to be finishing this dungeon in this episode if you're like that, Link. Oh my god. How do I get back up? Do I have to... Let me guess. I have to hook shot to the torch. That's probably what I have to do. Get out of the way, platform. What the har? What the har? Now don't fall again, Link. Just get to the door and get out of this stupid room. I don't think you ever really see a fluid like that anywhere else in this game, but whatever. Just the lava. Anyways, that, as you probably saw, that twisted up the corridor. And now you're, what that does is lets you fall into this hole. What? Are we going to play chess? This reminds me of Harry Potter 1 for the PlayStation. If you played that game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't think I want to go this way. Check. No, I don't want to go this way. Hi, Link. Oh my god. It was a floating door handle there. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Anyways, so you come over here, and Nami's going to tell you, Oh my god, watch out. The ceiling's falling. Why didn't they do my voice for her? Whatever. Anyways, run. Run before the ceiling falls some more. Oh, look, hit the switch. It's not too hard to get there. Don't worry. And then the ceiling falls again. Ah! That would scare the shit out of me if that was real. Come! Oh my god. Hurry up. And you can open this chest. Which contains a bundle of arrows. Yep. Oh my god. That was a nice up-close shot. We're getting lots of up-close shots of you in this dungeon link. And then he's coming to this weird room. And what you're going to notice on the wall over there that it didn't really show very well at all is another Poe. So you're going to hit it with an arrow, and these five blocks fall down, and the timer all of a sudden starts. So what you're going to want to do, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this on my first try, it's, don't pull it, Link, but, because I sometimes have trouble with this, so just be warned, but it's not too hard, really. No, Link! Don't do that, you're wasting time. Anyways, this block right here, it doesn't have anything to do with the puzzle. It's just to get in your way. Okay. Uh, I think that was too far, but... No, maybe not. Uh, looks like we can still get it in time. We have a good 20 seconds. Just to move that one block. As long as we don't epically fail at something. I don't know, normally I don't cut it this close, even though... When I when I do it well, I don't normally cut it this close, but looks like we did it nonetheless. And now that Poe comes out of her 
thing, and you can kill her all the same. Nothing too different at all here. Oh man, this is a boring temple. I haven't had anything really to talk about. Mm. Did any of you watch the Speed Gamers Marathon, by the way? I brought that up a while ago. That was a pretty epic thing, don't you think? I liked Phil's run through of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That was pretty awesome. Anyways. Yeah. I have 100% of Super Mario Galaxy 2 as well, just so you know. Almost done it twice, actually, because it's such a fun game. And that pose, her torch returns to the torch. Her flame returns to the torch, excuse me. And now we just have one more Poe that we have to find. And surprisingly enough, uh, let's just get some stuff here, some supplies. Give me my shit. Uh, there's you. Okay. Yeah, you can kill him with an arrow now, too. And, yes, yeah, surprisingly, now we come out into this, the main room. And once you've killed all three Poes, the fourth Poe will appear right in the middle here. And you come out to it, and this is a little bit of a different battle. There's four of them. Actually, there's just one real one, and then three doppelgangers or something. Anyways, what you basically want to do is when it split, when he split, when she splits into four. Um, hold on, just a sec. All right, guys, sorry about that. That was not actually my sister this time. That was me getting a drink because my throat was throat was kind of sore. Anyways, basically, when he sp when she splits into four, there'll be one of the four that spins. That's the real one. That's all there is to it. You just shoot the real one when it spins, when she spins. See, it's that one, so you lock on, fire. This is not a hard battle at all. In fact, it's more fun than the other ones, because it's just, I don't know. Why is it always you, the one I'm facing? Be a different one this time. Be the one, like, right behind me. Then it'll give me a little bit more challenge. Not much, but... Oh, it's you again. And you're dead. And with that... The final flame returns to a torch, and oh my god, I'm rising, I'm going to heaven, oh my god, killing them all must have killed me as well, nope, I'm just on top of an elevator, I have a medieval elevator, where are the arrows that Poe dropped, screw it, let's just get in the elevator, and you come down here, and we will be confronted with one final puzzle before the boss room, because you can see the skull on the top of the map up there, anyways, the thing about this this room is like there's some holes here and some gates and stuff and there's little ledges or something basically what you want to do is grab this these little ledges uh, oh we're up to eight minutes we're not gonna beat this dungeon in this, this in this video problem oh well and that will move the holes around so that you can find other rooms like side rooms and stuff and those rooms will contain switches or treasures and stuff like that uh, don't lag, please. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. You bitch. You bitch. Okay, I'm back. The lag stopped. Her grab it, Link. Oh my god. Grab it. Grab it. There you Grab it. Grab. What the hell is wrong with you, Link? You can't even grab a freaking wall. Well, I can't grab a wall either. They don't have handles. Anything in here? No, nope, just a wall, so it must be in the other hole. I hear a gold sculpture. But that's in a separate room. Anyways, here's the second switch out of three. Uh, I'll probably be able to complete this room at least before the video's done. Before the video's done and over with. And we're gonna push this one more time. And I believe that'll unlock the room with the sculpture in it at least. There's one of these guys. And then there's going to be a gold sculpture in this room as well. I believe that'll be the last one in this dungeon. Yep. There he is. Hurry up. Kill him. And there you go. And that will... Lag me out. Okay, yes. All the sculptures in this dungeon are gone. Are dead. Never to be seen again. We got an arrow! Anyways, uh, is this final switch over here? No, it's not. Or is it? it what? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, we have, like, about a minute left, it looks like. So we're probably gonna finish this just barely before the time limit runs out. If Link can grab the wall! 
We've had this discussion before, Link. Not too long ago, even. In this video, even. In this room, even. No, not in... Maybe in there. Yeah, it is in there. Look at that. And then that final gate opens, leading to the boss room. So, I guess that's that for this episode, you guys. Because we're just about out of time, and this is why you need the boss key. There's a lock in front of the door, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, the next episode's probably going to be... Because I want to end this recording session after the boss. So it's going to be like a little bit of a half part, kind of. Just to show the boss. Maybe it'll just be its own the own boss's video and it won't even have a part number or anything. So thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we take on the boss, whoever it may be. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.